Hello friends, I'm Parways and this is our fourth video in Qt5 C++ GUI application development. In the previous video, we have uh, created our first GUI window in Qt5 C++ framework. In this video, we are going to talk about signal and slots. Okay, now and also we are going to make some examples uh, about signal and slots. We will do graphical examples and also C++ coding examples. Now, first of all, what is signal and slot? Uh, signal and slots are used for communication between objects. Uh, the signals and slots mechanism is a central feature of Qt. Uh, and probably the part that differs most from the feature provided by other frameworks. In GUI programming, when we change one widget, we often want another widget to be notified. Uh, more generally, we want object of any kind to be able to communicate with each other. For example, if a user clicks a close button, we probably want the window close function to be called. In Qt, we use signal and slots. A signal is emitted when a particular event occurs. Uh, Qt's widgets uh, have many predefined signals that we I will show you. Uh, example of that but we can always uh, always subclass widgets to add our own signals to them uh, a slot is a function uh, that is called in response to a particular signal in Qt widget uh, have many predefined slots but it is common practice to subclass uh, widgets and add our own slots so that we can handle the signals that we are interested in. Uh, now I'm going to create my uh, a new uh, project, new file of project, Qt widget application, and from here I'm going to give it a name, signal and uh, slots, like this, and also choose your. Uh, I'm choosing Visual Studio 2015, and from here. Uh, I'm going to choose main window and I want to generate a form for me click on next finish okay now we have our headers uh, in here we have our header and we have our main dot cpp and main window dot ui let me run this and you can see our uh, uh, window it will take uh, a little time for this and uh, we will do uh, the graphical example and also the coding example of C++ okay uh, now this is our window main window uh, now I'm going to open my main window dot UI and the first we are going to do our graphical example uh, and here I'm going to add just a button uh, let me add a push button here and let me call the change this to close okay now I'm going to uh, you can see uh, I'm going to select this and in here you can see I have edit signals and uh, or slots now you can click on this and now you can see that everything changed now it's uh, graphically you can simply uh, uh, click on this and bring this in here like this now you can see that I have a, a click uh, I'm going to uh, uh, connect my push button click now click on this show signal and slots to the uh, main window close in uh, here I'm going to tell if a user click on close a button I want that window should be close click on OK now I'm going to run this again and save all. Now it's going to run. Okay. Uh, now this is my application. If I click on close button, you can see now the application is closed. Now I'm going to uh, create a little uh, hard example. Let me remove this push button and you can click on edit widgets remove the push button 
and I'm going to add a horizontal slider like this and also I want to add a progress bar okay right now if I run this Uh, there will not be any functionality to this yeah if I change this this will not be changed now the first I'm going to do this uh, graphically I'm going to select this and uh, edit signal and slots and you can simply bring this in here now uh, from here I'm going to select volume change I'm going to uh, connect the horizontal slider volume change to the uh, set value of progress bar click on OK now if I run this and let me bring this in here okay now if I you can see now it's changing uh, like this you can do this okay now this was a uh, example of graphical signal and slots now you can do this by coding uh, uh, all time you need to do this by C++ coding so I'm going to show you uh, the example let me control Z this and edit this and let me run this right now it will not be working because I have removed the signal and slots for my slider and progress bar yeah right now it's not working and now uh, open your main window.cpp and, and in the constructor you can simply write connect okay uh, I'm going to connect the horizontal slider to the signal of uh, volume changed and and uh, the uh, UI and also I'm going to connect the uh, progress let me bring this in here uh, UI progress bar to the slot of set volume like this okay and here I'm going to connect the horizontal slider to the signal of volume change and the progress bar to the slot of set volume now I'm going to run this now if I bring this now it's working uh, Thank you guys. Uh, if you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, don't forget subscription of my channel.